In a world of fast, big, and economic cars comes a car meant for you, the working man. A car that says more about you than you say about you. It's not just a car, it's your way of life. Don't let life pass by. Get in line and get a 2002 Mazda Protégé 5. Mazda, the perfect drive. In the peak of Florida's summers, temperatures can reach totals near 92, 94, or even 96 degrees. And for some of Florida's more furry residents, this can pose a serious threat. Every year, owners can lose their companions by leaving them inside of a parked car, even if just for a minute. In fact, on a 78 degree day, the temperature inside of a parked car can soar to temperatures that range from 100 to 120 degrees. On a 90 degree day, temperatures can reach 160 degrees all in under 10 minutes. I talked to Dr. John Nadler from West Orange County Veterinary Hospital and asked him for some tips on how to keep your pets safe in Florida's heat. Basically, the number one thing is avoiding the heat. You don't want to have your dog in the middle of the day in August out for any longer than, you know, 10, 15 minutes, especially if you're running around. Dogs will just go, go, go until they collapse and they don't know any better and they just drop. So uh, avoiding the heat, go out, you know, if you're going to do a longer walk, go out in the morning, uh, go out in the evening. So the next time you think that the heat is unbearable, why don't you think about what your dog feels like? And maybe use these tips to help you get through the dog days of summer. For WCSB News, I'm Jake Hancock. Come on, bud. Recently in the news, I-4 was named the deadliest highway in the country, and that shouldn't come as a surprise with one and a half fatalities per mile. But why? Well, many people are blaming the weather, teen drivers, or even the tourists. But what they're failing to mention is how often they're on their phone behind the wheel. In a study done by Nationwide Insurance, as many as one in four accidents is caused by distracted driving. It also accounts for at least nine deaths and about 1,153 injuries a day. Well, I'm out here at my local park driving golf balls, and that's because of a change that many of Florida's golf courses have taken. And that change is leaving a lot of golfers saying, bye-bye birdie. Well, right now behind me may look like a mess, however in a few short months what they're building is going to add property value to all the homes around this area. I'll have all that and more coming right up. Gas prices have risen recently and that's leaving many drivers a little angry. You see in the past year we've gone from $1.63 per gallon back up to $2.34. But what makes that price fluctuate so much? Well, recent changes in the way some gas stations do their business is the cause. Let me explain. from the deadliest highway in the country, from your newest shopping area, reporting from Florida's newest driving range, I'm Jake Hancock, CSB News.